Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Croatia. Croatia has expanded to a different area in Europe, which is the Pontic Steppe. As you can see, Croatian Pontic Steppe. No, we haven't gone colonizing the New World or something, but we have a reason of why did we go up there. And yes, we even fought against the Russians and won. This is for the Crimea trade node. That we want to have some more control of this area. But now perhaps we have too much control. Because we are now at the point where we can no longer wage wars to expand territory anymore. Part of the reason I say that is because the governing capacity, well, if we go over it, I don't even want to know what the penalties are. So, I was just trying to figure out, okay, what are the ways that we can reduce the governing capacity to make things easier to run for all the states. And I can see some of these now. Obviously Thrace being the most developed state, second Croatia, third Serbia, Kaniola, Macedonia, Bosnia, Dalma, Dalmatia, so on and so forth. It's, so it's that development as well as uh, some of the uh, the areas of the state, except for our capital state, is what's causing the governing capacity. And plus, since we are technically kingdom tier, um, we are not still, still a far cry from becoming an empire yet. So I think it's at a point where, yeah, we cannot expand anymore, and I cannot turn these newly acquired um, areas states territories if you will I mean these are all states here including the capital state whereas some places are more developed than others and prosperity and whatnot except for Greece that's often raided by pirates that we can't really deal with except maybe but, but all this isn't gonna be territory which of course may leads to a bit of tension the Commonwealth. Let me see. Hmm. <sighs> but anyways, our army is on our way back from St. Petersburg after we pillaged them. Yes, we did. Just uh, add more development to Zagreb as it's developed as it really needs to be compared to that one. And with all this new money that I've just earned, and I try to think of, well, what are you going to do with that money? Well, actually, one. Hey, old friend. Still got that many favors, right? Let me see. 234. You don't have that kind of money? Oh, yeah. That's what we need. Just need some of that income out of you. And I know you, one of you probably are thinking, are you going to embrace institution soon? I would say no. I'm going to do something about this governing capacity. It'll be a while before I would think about it. Of any institution. Because we would also have to include to get it up there as well. Since, you know, Commonwealth has embraced it. But at least some of that will come here. Yeah, it'll be a while before all this comes here. But. And I know some of you are thinking, well, why are you going for parliamentarianism where you could go for a presidential system that'll have you a reduced cost of institution embracement? For me, I'm not concerned about that. And plus, we got the Cossacks, the newest estate. I kind of want to get rid of the nobility by an active parliamentarianism and we will not have diet anymore so whatever's on the agenda we'll try to deal with that and subsequently all this land that's going to be taken away from the nobility since they'll be gone if some of that if all of that goes to me I'll be happy to give it to the Cossacks and um, who knows from there so that's why we will go for that, which it'll be coming soon. 
Wait, not available to me. Oh, I misread that part. Um, does not have nobility estate. Well, how do you get rid of the nobility? Do you have to be a... Autocracy? Oh my god. Alright, yeah, not enough. But, uh, give it a moment. Um... If it is indeed, then, well, presidential system it is, even though despite the fact I've been hyping up for all this because I had an idea of what this country should be. And regarding towards governing capacity, I may use what little that space left to get Crete in. You were developing that island nation for a bit, but now we wanted to come to Croatia. Be nice to have you along. Plus, it's good money. So it's time for you to be annexed as well. Which, of course, it may take a little, a little while longer because uh, we recently annexed one other nation. And that was um, Epirus. No, excuse me, Cor Corfu. That's the one. Even though as much as I would like to core all of these, well, I think it'll be easier just to knock it down, but we also kind of want to save it up for for this just to get the c governing capacity up. But there is one way to solve this lack of governing capacity problem. Build courthouses. You know, it's not only for reduced monthly autonomy change, state maintenance, which gives us a little more income, but also Province, province governing costs. That affects governing capacity, I think. Statewide governing costs. Province governing. Easier to make it this. So there is room. Tarigran, Kovnik, Reno Polier. Yeah, there's room for all of these. As our statewide governing cost, we'll think about that. But I would love to build more manufactories because some at some point down the line, I'd like to have this. I'll try to make it a, you know, turn into an empire, basically. So, it'll be about a year. Save some of the money for whatever is needed. And plus, we got a separatist problem. Just thinking about you. Over there. So I'll hold off on creating those cores for about a year. At Konulu, and you embrace global trade as well. That's from the spoils of war that we took from Russia. Come on over. So we have just have to focus on it here and now. Uh, are you sure? No, we can't go for parliamentarianism. As long as the nobility estate exists. Crud. Well, let me see. I guess you could do that if you were a plutocracy, but if you want to be plutocracy, you got to. Let me see. As enacted, 
All the following must be true. Okay. One of these following must not be true. That's that's not how nobility is seen. And land owned by the crown at least twenty five percent. Nobility loyalty is higher or equal than their influence. So that's what you mean. I do have the crown lens way up. But the loyal is equal or higher than their influence. Loyal. Huh. Let me see. Higher than their influence. Are you talking about these? As I said, I really want parliamentarianism. Want anything else? What a um, monopoly on <laughs> on all these things. Which will give them more loyalty, and then we can. Here we go. Well, think about it. If not, then well, go for a presidential system instead. But at least you can afford global trade. Please read one more time. One of these following must be true. Either nobility state or... I mean, you're not an elective monarchy. And the loyalty is equal or higher than their influence, which they're... One... They're just two percent. Okay. I'm gonna give you a monopoly on gemstones, so no income from gems then. So you sure? But it says does not, does not. Wait for it to be registered in a month. Loyalty hasn't changed. Look to your screen, to the upper right. Equibrillion. And we're about to integrate Crete. You back yet? Yeah, that definitely hurts. Especially that we're trying to root out corruption. Which things will be better. Yeah, it's supposed to get the loyalty to move that way. That's what we're trying to do. Alright, in position. Ready to take on any form of uh, separatism around here. In the meantime, you can drill. Not bother to look at what's being explored. Seems every month. Not bother to look at the Americas anymore. Oh, here we go. It's here. Now head up to Bulgaria. As much as I would like to fight against Venice. But I have problems with governing capacity.
Hey, what are you doing? Get back here. What else? What else? What else? What else? Thinking, think, 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 think. What to do? What to do? What to do? Yeah, we've been expanding aggressively a little bit. Gotta improve relations with that Canulo. Would hate to lose him. Oh yeah, we're in the middle of conversion. Calm down. Po Valley will be pillaged. That's where Montoya resides. Hey. Check. There it is. That's what I wanted. It's so it's a look, I wanted to get rid of nobility. Free up some land. Give it to the Cossacks. The nobility had played the role for Croatia, but now that time has come to pass. It is time that we separate the head of government from the head of state to give the legislative assemblies of the land a larger share in the day-to-day -day rule of our state. Which, of course, getting rid of the nobility, so which means, hey, remember that privilege with the monopoly? Wait a minute. Hold on here. So... Since I just gave them Monopoly um, gems, if they're gone, does that mean those privileges are revoked and then I start making money through gems again? What if I give it to the rest of them? You know, make some nice fortune out of it and, and use whatever money that you may need. It's almost like taking up free loans, except, you know, minus the inflation. Just an idea. Hmm. Let's try that. Hope it doesn't come back to bite me. Alright, here. <laughs> you get to have the monopoly on the mining and smelting. Just to get some money out of it. The livestock. Guess the maximum is four privileges. And as, um,. Corfu will be integrated slowly but surely, and we will not get much out of these gains of diplomatic power. But initiate parliamentarianism. So no more nobility and no more calling for diet, we will enable parliament. So it'll feel like a little bit of that true democracy we've been asking before. But hey, it'll reduce the national unrest around here, which is becoming problematic here. Another driving reason why parliamentarianism in the Grand Republic of Croatia. There you go. Alright. Those privileges, um... The nobility, uh... They're gonna go away in a month, right? Okay, they're gone, so does that mean, um... Oh, all this crown land's been given to me. Well, excellent, so I can definitely... Well, one, sell all the titles um, to the crownlands, to those who really care. Maybe we could finally embrace that global trade you've been waiting for. So you have way too much, as much as it benefits you, but you know they're going to want some. So, as I'm a good man at heart, so here you go. So, Sabor, that's the name of the... Croatian Parliament. And I'm willing to give away some more crown land, but I have a different reason. Let me see. Established Cossack regiments. 6% of land ownership gives it specially enforced limit. The Cossacks are fierce cavalry wars that would represent a potent force of our army. If we can persuade them to serve us. You remember the Mughal series uh, with the Rajputs? Well, we got one of our own in Cossacks. Instead of it being infantry oriented, it's cavalry oriented. And we Croats are of a cavalry tradition. So, heck yes. 
Of course, that'll make him a little more influential, which every little bit helps. So, no effect on the Kremlin, so... That's the amount of land I'll be holding for myself. And also, I've uh, read that recruit Cossack leaders that, um... It'll, uh... Give you a yearly army tradition up and land the leader shock, which is a... Uh, a hell of a thing to have, but of course that makes him even more influential. So... And if need be, governing capacity, which is a necessity these days as we're trying to work on it. But do you want to wait a little? Like let it to expand into Bosnia and all these areas. Until we get this governing capacity thing under control. Right. Croatian Sabo. There's no debate going on, so if you don't get that debate right now, you're going to have corruption. And there's too few seats, so my country needs at least 13 seats in the Sabo, and I have zero. If you do not increase the number of seats, additional seats will be assigned automatically. Well, it'll be automatic then. Which is again... We chose parliamentarism just to try to keep the uprising down. So start the debate, which I've... Uh, hang on. Start that description again. A debate will continue for at least 10 years, at the end of which I'll have a chance to win a debate depending on the number of seats supporting me. Succeeding will give me bonuses for selected issue, while failing will cost me 20 prestige. No problem. Hmm. Was only five okay hmm. as much as I care about development so I will go for guarantee religious minorities and one province will get minus 10 development cost reduction and for the next 10 years tolerance of heretics and heathens up I'm fine with the amount of diplomats I have. I mean, the advisor cost just to hire somebody is another. Which we haven't had one recently, and I thought about hiring one. Question is, who? Which I'm kind of not convinced. But I could promote some of them. Get rid of that inflation, which we're still struggling with. Despite the two things. And strong treasures department, which we're trying to get it down further and further and further. So that way, we'll have fort maintenance reduction, it's easier. And it doesn't cost much to build things and recruit. Despite the fact that... Okay, he's no longer, uh, whatchamacall, that word. Now he's Prince. The official ruler's name of this Grand Republic is Prince. So it's a principality, technically, by the looks of things. It's a principality. Grand Princedom. There you go. That's what it's called. It's no longer a republic. Now it's a Grand Princedom. And worry about these far in the future. Oh, and that absolutism thing I talked about that I couldn't point out? Here. This is what that means. How ruthless and efficient the government is. The higher it is, the greater benefits we gain in administrative efficiency and discipline. Falling actions affects your absolutism in this age. But anyways, let's start the debate. Huh. I'll be going for this. Chance to win, chance to end, but the seats will be assigned automatically. And we have too many diplomatic relations which we're working on it. On uh, Crete. I'd like to keep it the alliance of all those countries for the rest of this playthrough, hopefully, but that's wishful thinking. Oh yeah, I forgot that as Defender of Faith, you have two missionaries. I have a habit of using just only one. It's territorial, that takes too long.
Go for this. <sighs> and I would embrace it, but I need a little more money. And have a bit of reduction, which in fact... I mean, not right now. Oh, by the way, does that mean I have all that income again? Ever since I, uh... Did this thing? No. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? So, you started the war with Lonians allied with Mantua. Oh, you just want to pick up the pieces? Yeah, I'll accept, but... Don't expect me to come over there. There's no ships there and there's almost no military. You got this. You don't need me. As you were. We're trying to reduce the governing capacity here. That's a priority now. And those damned pirates. It kind of makes me want to build a fort there. Maybe that's what this is for. Who knows. Coasts of there and there, yeah. I think those within certain states um, affects it. Let's see this little thing I've read. Well, I could be incorrect as always. Hunt pirates. Ragusa. Alright, take the admiral with you. Since he's going to be the one on patrol. New seat in parliament. Zagreb has been granted a seat in the parliament. Serving the needs of our grand princedom. That's one. You oppose and you would prefer grant army commissions. You could bribe them, but that would have a effects of lowering army tradition. Ugh. Save it. For the love of God. Again, they mostly raided areas as part of the Ragusa train now. Slavonia has a seat. I guess over the next couple of months, it'll be granted a seat automatically. Isn't there a way to give it to them manually? Is there an option here? Oh, there it is. Up there. So, if, if you give them seats rather than giving them automatically... Think of the more developed areas. Belgrade should be given a seat there. I mean, think of the resources. Adds more efficiency. Absolutism decreases, which there isn't any to begin with. Dubrovnik. Have that seat. Oh, and especially Zarygram, the big one. Which, of course, that means that's probably more power to them to let them vote on issues on the Sabo. It's got buildings. Have that there. Bosna. There you go. State Department. It, how much left? 7 out of 13. Rijeka. Oh yeah, courthouses have been built. Oh, 
No way. It doesn't reduce the guarding capacity. But it does reduce, you know, whatever state maintenance there is. Yeah, that's rather problematic. We'll be sure to spend reform progress to increase governing capacity bit by bit. Or alternatively, since you still have this crown line, give it to somebody. Particularly the burgers. Since they're very loyal to you, I might give it to them soon. Just let me finish putting the seats. One day I'm going to invest in Athens. So, you'll be have seat two. It's territorial, so can't work. Drino Poye. Have at it. Most developed area, uh, Gorica. The only areas that, that has the necessary buildings. All right, there's room for one more. Who's got it? Rusk. There. I'll check the parliament in a month. That income has jumped way up because we got rid of the corruption and I'm sure the uh, production and taxation due to giving whoever the seats there that adds more effectiveness to it. I'm looking. Um, Starting to make all those good fortunes again. But however, what are you saying? Good God! Huh. Nobody's backing us. Huh. Look at all these things. I mean, everybody's opposed to this issue, but um, you can bribe them. Which I would do that. We're losing prestige. To help back the issue. This is for Kroya. Kroya. That place is familiar. Forget where is it. Kroya. Damn it. You know I'm such a simpleton. Troya is in Albania. One of the least developed territories out there. And and developing that and even though we haven't really developed much of Albania to begin with. We've neglected it. But if you lose that debate, you lose prestige. So I don't think you should rush into that. Gain a little influence. So, this is what happens if you try to um, bribe any of them. You get some of these penalties and things you must pay with. But uh, let's not rush it. I think I will soon learn to love the parliamentary. I, I assume you viewers who've played republics or monarchies that did parliamentarianism probably don't particularly like that sort of thing. Hey!
Uh, we'll deal with him soon. There's about to be an uprising that we'll have to deal with. Or provoke him now if you wish to. There's room for a general. Four fire, two shock, two minute, two siege. Hey. The real question is, what the hell am I going to do with that influence? Well, a higher diplomatic reputation means you can integrate Crete faster. You know what? Do that. I'll agree to their demands and I'll take the prestige hit. We're in the middle of a war here, so there might be some prestige out of this. Including beating these peasants up. Separatist section play. Honestly, I was expecting a little more. You handle it. Head that way. Drive them out. Separatist. Just drive them out of here and retake those territories. And embracing that institution reduces the technology cost penalty, which will get you research to this almost immediately. Smugglers running rampant. Oh, hell. For ten years. Yeah, do stop them. We well, won't embrace that institution in time, but still. going anywhere and I forgot to stop drilling but do remain at your post no one rests good gotta mothball you soon when things settle down There. Got you surrounded. Take your time. Hungary is broken. Dun Dutchy government. Huh? We'll get Crete in a few years.
engage. You can. Okay, and separatist. Send me back down over there. Oh, you got yourself into this, so you better start bribing in a bit. Wait a minute. You broke away from the Commonwealth? What happened? I guess due to the Noble Rebellion and the Commonwealth had their own problems with rebellion of their own. And so therefore their um, personal union with... So it's a new dynasty I think. So they broke away. Which of course the Commonwealth would probably want to grab that in Austria. Everybody in fact. Everybody's crazy. Decisive victory. What did I get out of it? Three ducats. And a tiny bit of prestige. And one favor. We can make Crimea to a state. Oh, okay, those courthouses I built did reduce the governing capacity. You just had to wait to rest with everything else. It's not much, but it'll do. But don't spend it. Because you're about to get this in a year. Just wait a couple of months, and you'll get what you want. Unless you're impatient. But no, no, no. Just be patient. You'll get what you want. Regarding governing capacity... And then all that. <laughs> the only problem is we won't have the uh, manpower recovery like we used to, but... When we build more barracks and upgrade said barracks, we'll definitely have maximum manpower and that subsequently increases manpower recovery speed. Biding my time. <laughs> Anyways. Position yourselves over there and start drilling again. It's been a long time. need to do is just you know get this tech rolled up and then save up some well have a look here if you want this master then hire the man I'm aware but we have to do this and until uh, Crete is fully integrated switch the national focus for that one for 20 years which I've stated before. Can't be going anywhere. Eighty-two. That's still more national unrest than needs to be. Drain up, boy, yeah. Don't convert too much. 
Yeah. Everybody's having cousins. Noble plot. With the Republic looking fragile, rumors have reached us that the nobles are plotting to bring the brigand hereditary success to our great Republic. This is concerning. Eek. Never thought we would have that again. It's because of low Republican tradition, which I could increase it more if uh, strengthen the government, but that would be spending some military power. Patient. Here we go. Take care of that. There goes their influence. How old are you, man? It feels like you've been around for a long time. 61. Post. Oh, here we're finally. University. This is to help with the governing capacity, administrative efficiency, and development efficiency for the first time. Because this is just what this country needs. Efficiency. I wonder what they mean by that. Efficiency. And with that, we finally have the governing capacity, which will no doubt be able to expand. Well, we already expand all the Pontics. except turn all these into states. While I still would love to go to Venice to get this rich, rich land that would help with the trade. But don't spend it yet. You need to save up to... Um, let me see. 30 to 90. Damn, that's a lot. Respect the wishes of good men, that's not Nikki. This is for trade. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're separated, right? For the ones that remain. all the transport fleet for now just to cut costs. Oh wait this point. It expanded to there but not enough. Wattenberg's become a free city in the HRE. In fact I think it's about damn time that we use that institution spread. Now that we have the the money for that, if you're not developing so. anywhere else, Serbia. Two years time. It's 
been a while since we took a good look at America. Don't know who owns what. Iroquois in the Carolinas? Native still in the area? That's a big one. Is a duke. Feudal nobility. But technologically, they're still a bit behind. They're just barely catching up and all that and such. Not yet. You need a core of the rest first, and then we'll turn them to states. Spare no expense! Get it! I need to spread the institutions, you know, faster. Faster! Napried! Is it time for an election because we really want a new guy? So we can have a reduction construction costs? Nope. I guess it's not this year. Until it gets higher and higher. Our superbly drilled army is the opinion of the most influential generals invincible. Any recent setbacks are down to the weather or the enemy using such unmanly things such as tactics as far as our generals concerned there's no way to improve on perfection. Eek. Well, I guess we'll have to take that hit. Invincible, I like the sound of it. That means we're not gonna get this anytime soon. Wait, how much is it to strengthen the government? 86. I think it'll be worth it. Just do this, just this once. But they say absolutism will increase a little. So, just this once, just to get that Republican tradition up faster and faster. So, reform progress will go up. Burgers will be more loyal. As well as the unrest. But that stability cost modifier and all that. But. First, you should take a look at the Parliament, because I need to get these guys to bribe me. Get these guys to support me, I should say. Support Baroque music. Only the Almighty knows what the artistic talent has gone wasted because of too little money, too little food, and too little love. Help struggling composers in Croatia with my patronage, and they'll help you in return. No, we have enough problems. Which what I'm about to do is um it's the Cape Progress. So they'll gain some influence. That's our way to chance to win. Lose one of our okay. Increases the chance to win the debate. And money is not much of that concern, so I'll bribe these two. We'll still have the money to embrace the institution, but I'd rather wait until it spreads further throughout the country. Then I'll pay it. Anyone else? I'll take that bit of corruption, which will go away quickly. I'll do that one more for Bosna. We'll win that damn debate. So yeah, it seems it's much more. Oh yeah, it does get rid of it quickly. Because that's how much I'm paying to root it out.
Okay, you know what? Boss now. If I lose this debate, I'll take the prestige hit. That's the that's the only time I'll be messing with that, so we'll hear that from uh, later. Of course. Because those areas we just took, you still have... Whatchamacall... Core Province, because you held these ones. While we're still working on it, which we should right now, in fact. You're a state now. All of you. Barely enough. Frick. You we can core most of them, but no, not all. Of course. And it needs another seat. What timing? It's this one that I've been saving up for. Because of a higher developed area. Just the province as a whole. No, no, no. Parliament, dummy. Support populists. Yeah, I'll just want one more chance to win. Yeah, you got it. There. That's it. Why the hell not? I was thinking the mercantilism, well, which I almost never really mess with it. About to be another conversion coming up. Almost there. Should get to drilling again. Still the papal states. Well, we only have six cardinals. Seven now. chance of that happening because we haven't really invested that's what they mean so we sh instead of just helping ourselves why don't we just spend the people in place you got the cardinals core. Yeah, we're still working on it. So I'll start focus, switch that national focus towards administrative power more. So we'll be getting that in a hurry. So as we said, Croatia now is no longer a Grand Republic, but a Grand Prince, a Principality of sorts. There. And that's for 10 years. And that's our prestige up. Get rid of them. Not because of the cost cutting reasons, just not necessary. And same for you. Crete is just a somewhat developed island there. Even though it's got a pretty good. and all that. And where 
is that governing capacity? Let us know. Thank goodness for courthouses. Now it's present. Okay, take that off. We'll be back to protect trade. Help the Ragusa trade node a bit. Look at us now. Good thing they built a marketplace there. Because of the, you know, the area there. Oh, don't forget. Switch that right now. Won't get much out of it because of who we voted for. Voted for. You mean... You elected to. Eleven. And since you want cores in a hurry, you might as well do this. Yeah, take advantage of that. Just generate as much cores as possible, then we'll core everything, then we finally have this, and then we can focus on it here and now, particularly embracing that institution. After all that money that we got from Russia. No longer a great power. But don't underestimate him. A wounded Russian bear is a very dangerous one. Deploy. The corner. Get a fast mover. A golden era for our culture. With peace in our country, the great musicians, artists, and poets are rejoicing in the capabilities of uh, entertaining their betters. This era of cultural enlightenment is definitely improving the mood of Croatia. This is great. An artist, stability cost modified. That helps. Damn it. Why did I invest my money? But yet you help with the yearly inflation reduction and you are 41 years old and this man here is 40 years old. Well, one year younger. And less percent. And it helps with the income. But don't worry about the inflation, okay? You have the National Bank. There, now it costs less monthly. Well, you still got the skill. Son of a beeswax. Heated debates. Some members of the parliament are having some concerns regarding our increasingly bad reputation. They are claiming that it's having a negative effect on trade relations. This question is being raised numerous times in the past, but not many thought of it as any consequence. This time, the matter is causing some really heated debates, though. Perhaps we should try to settle things before they get out of hand. That is probably wise. Grand old man of the army. His attention to siege tax made every investment worthy. We'll miss you. Holy crap. Uh, two, fire, three, shock. Six, maneuver. He can get the biggest body of troops to move from one place to another in a hurry. But keep drilling. Hold off on the conversions until we core all these areas, finally. Which will be in two years' time. When is that debate going to end, by the way? It's 
established Sunday schools. Provide education in religious and moral matters for children poor by establishing Sunday schools. Ah, yes, of course. Adds more missionary strength. There you go. Oh, thank God. I really want to get rid of that guy. So we still need a bureaucrat candy. Just one more. Alright. Because I want nothing to do with that man who increases construction cost. Let's hope he's a good one. Anything positive. Otherwise, we'll be dealing with him in the next seven years. Cruel. God damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep. We're going to be dealing with that in the next seven years. How old is he? 49. Unless he drops dead first. Whichever comes first. Honestly, I hope he dies so we can have a snap election. It's ridiculous, honestly. Province defect. Oh, separatists. Separatism. That's why. <laughs> Debate failed. They, they refused to pass guarantee religious minorities. Lost 20 prestige. I shrug. Well, we'll get our prestige back up. Well, we'll start again. So, let's not do that. About extend officers' commissions. What say for you? 42. Belgrade, Dubrovnik, Skopje, Rijeka supports this. Kronland. Well, the clergy has about as much influence, so why not the burgers too? So I'll give it to that. Lose some military power. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, sure. Diplomatic support. Oh yeah, that means I have to give us some power. I thought I had a good chance. Present a scapegoat. <gasps> Kill him! No! Not yet, at least. <laughs> this parliamentarian system. <laughs> Some would think, am I gonna... If, do I feel that I'm beginning to regret that idea? I would say, no, it's just... You're being too cautious. And you were so... Concerned about the Pontic step that you've taken. Far from home. It's not a colon it's not a colony, but it will be a permanent part of of this great supposed democracy or whatever. That we're trying to interpret as. I know I haven't heard from you, as we cannot do diet anymore. Separatism did it in. We're about to crush this rebellion. Just give me another year and then we'll use all that administrative power to court arrest. And all of our problems for this episode will be solved. That's of course if you can afford it. present. Don't worry about that. How much percentage is that of an increase? I know we're not getting it faster because the stability had been lowered recently. Oh, very, very little. A 
Okay, it does increase to almost a bit of percentage as long as I have. Yeah, do wait a year. And I will finally embrace it. What's going on in America? Oh no, that's Madagascar. Spain's over there. Does Spain have a claim? France does. But I was interested in the trade company. Reached a new level of professionalism. Regain manpower when disbanding. Now we gain 600 a month. After all that heavy drilling. A few more months, and all our problems will go away. Struggle for royal power ends. They went with the Emperor's Supreme as a choice of action from the Commonwealth. Speaking of Commonwealth, I haven't heard from you in a while. Yes, you do have a claim against us, and there's a bit of border friction, but we're good. We're fine. Russia's not a great power anymore, but we're still a great power. I just can't wait to go back to work developing my country. Because I really want to develop Bulgaria, not a poor province. And I'm not using any military power soon, so we should have new cannons. But you probably want to wait for the new ones, because there's about to be an uprising down in, in the Peloponnese. The carbine was a shorter form of musket. That's all you need to know the description. One more month. At least these pirates haven't been raiding our coast, so we should have done this months ago. Have I been such, you know? <sighs> Restoration of the Union. Okay, they want Hungary back. Finally. You're mine. And now, Koromol. We can definitely afford them all. Well, except for these two. But in due time. In due time. So, who needs a seat? You've developed well. But I would rather give it to Azov because I plan on, if, of all the areas that I wanted, uh, that I'd like to develop, it would be here. It's Step, and I could ask the, uh, the Cossacks to help with the development. So I'll put that here. Because this area is rather important to me. If you have enough power of each of these, that is. Now you can start converting. And I don't want to see the Reformed Church in my lands anymore. And until the autonomy is lowered, which of course it's going to take quite a bit of time, but it'll go down in due time. The trade power would increase slightly bit by bit. Although we could beat out the Commonwealth. But we don't have much of retained trade value. Unless I set a merchant over. Thirty four plus thirty four is sixty eight. Still got my math.
a Protestant minister. The Protestant faithful have watched the rise of our artist Faust Frankopan with both interest and enthusiasm. To many proof he's, to many he has become proof that it is possible for someone to do well in Croatia despite not belonging to state religion. One day, you all might rise like Faust Frankopan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Faster institutions spread uprisings less likely in some areas. Even though the only problem is is that we have a freaking prince who is a cruel man. Not as influential as they want to be. Oh, finally. He is embarrassing us, I'll tell him. Prestige up in a little more Republican tradition. Until we find a candidate or that the guy that we actually like, that I'll start re-electing. There. That is it. Master of Arms. Who's this one ship? Protecting Trinity. Oh my goodness. They raided all of that. They raided the Aegean. What the other galley fleet is for. Hunt pirates in Constantinople. They usually raid this, but now they went that way. Now the sea traffic is busy. <sighs> what was I? It's hey, what happens if we provoke it? Because it would be better just to beat him up right now. Just to get it over with. Although you do have enough governing capacity that if you wish to go to War of Venice, this would be an excellent opportunity. I mean, you bring your usual friends along and we can definitely defeat them. Taking control of Venice, mostly. All the areas that we claim to, especially their home of the trade node. Because we only have six. You have Crimea. Getting Venice is another priority, which is something that I've long wanted. Of course, of a devastated coast, that means, you know. That just hurts the everything here, including the institution spread. So I like to think everybody's calmed down now. Until we get rid of this damned guy unless <laughs> unless that man croaks because he's in his fifties. There's no way he would serve a seven year term all the way. Anti clericalism. The burghers of several prominent cities are accusing the clergy of being greedy and then and endowment. The pious commoners are now withholding the type in a protest against a particularly bad ex example of misuse of the authority of the clergy. Pious burghers are now objecting to paying the tithes of the clergy, and as they consider the clergy unfit to receive them. They are furious, and, and so that we would find them. Ooh. Gain a few ducats, and uh, get rid of some of that local autonomy in Azov. Because that's where the trade power lies. It's home of the dons. Now we must force them to pay.
I did not know slaves is the main export there. In fact, that's the only one. We sell slaves. Slavery in Croatia? But the current price of slaves is up due to the triangle trade from far away. Well, that free money you just earned, it's bribe them. And I'll give diplomatic support too. And I'll bribe this MP as well. There. Now you're guaranteed to win. Of course, every time you've expanded, you just increase the price of it. Unless... Hey, anybody got money? It's been a while. 246. 349. Mamluks, are you at war? No, you're not. But they don't have the money, damn. Oh, very little. Obviously, very little. Okay, I guess it'll be you. Commonwealth! No, 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 they're at war. They do not have that kind of money either. Because I kind of want to embrace it now and just get it over with, honestly. Because the overextension is gone. No need to root out corruption. And some of that good war reparation money will be soon going away, thus losing our good source of income. And setting a merchant to Crimea is, would be ideal. Which we have now the strongest trade power here. As we lower that autonomy over in Azov, which helps. Speaking of which, um... Yeah, we can work on that. When the autonomy lowers itself naturally. Okay then, so... This is just a decay. Keep that one in mind. And, uh, by the way, here's the new cannon. The letter cannon. The letter cannon was first used by the armies of King Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden during the Third Polish-Swedish War. The European artillery at this time was too large and heavy to be mobile on the battlefield. It was only used, uh, it was only really used during sieges. The introduction of a lighter mobile cannon enabled the Swedes to maneuver their artillery to meet the movements of the enemy and give them a distinct tactical advantage over their foes. Unfortunately, the lighter cannon used by the Swedes had a particular weakness which made it highly impractical consisting of a narrow copper tube covered in leather, strapping and rope. Its wrapping caused the cannon to overheat dangerously during continuous use. Nevertheless, the leather cannon marked the beginning of the development of light field artillery and the concept of taking heavy firepower to the enemy. Compare that to this. Adds a little more defensive morale. And this time has offensive shock. Now these cannons are more mobile. Based on how it looks, we should prepare for a future conflict against Venice, but in a bit. But of course, that'll be for next episode. <sighs> right, where were we? Institution. Yeah. When to embrace it. There's already some 90s here, so I think you should do it by next year. Hopefully by next year. As long as you don't spend any money big time. Because I put so much edicts into them. Take what's left of Medina. And the Ottomans are intervening. And Karaman is with... 
Too bad I can't join you. I mean, I got nothing on the Ottomans. I'm done with them, quite honestly. Tell you what, when we reached 3,000, where the hell did the war reparations come from? Strange. Taking Venice would definitely help us get up to them. Oh, this again. Take a drink. Tell you what, we'll embrace it when we reach 3,000. I tire of this game, in a sense of the waiting game, I'm trying to say. Okay, you know what, a few more months, because I just realized that the rate of it... The Honest Broker. We are gaining an international reputation that... Uh, will respect the interests of all its citizens and defend the rights of others. Our domestic fair dealing is paying off in our neighborhood. They really like me. Well, at least most of them. Okay, you know what? Come on. You're going in position. In preparation. Come on. Move up. I'm gonna get you ready. For the next episode of the next war, we'll finally take Venice. No aggressive expansion penalty on me, but we're definitely coming. Only because the rebel factions have calmed down, for the most part, and it would be of utmost importance. The reparations have expired, correct? Because I just saw one. Yeah, reparations expired, so. But don't worry, everybody, every little bit helps. Utterly. One more out of you. Because quite honestly, you should save up for the idea for centralization to reduce autonomy faster. Because what little territories I'll take, I'll core them. The Pope's demands. The papal emissary has arrived with a grave expression on his face. He delivers a message. It has come to the attention of His Holiest Pope Pius II that you are harboring a heretic in my court. Demand that you hand him over the Inquisition. Feeling this, the Pope shall consider the abandoned the true way and will be forced to take all necessary measures against you. Oh dear. If we handed him over, those heretics won't like me. If I fight, do not bow, they will dislike me. We'll still get the papal influence no matter what. That every time we convert. That'll calm these people down. I'll just say that we will not bow to papal pressure. In the meantime... Oh, no, no, no. Don't give them the money. Just improve relations. Just say, ah, oh, come on. You're a swell guy. In position. Just say this whole thing was misunderstanding. I want to keep my talented guy. He's a great helper to this nation. 
Almost there. Present. Also present in Belgrade. Okay, you know what? Do embrace it now. <sighs> what took you so long? And we will have a new ship type, but we're about to get into a war, so we don't have time for such things. And we can sow discontent as well. Now we're on par with them, but I fear that those ships will kick our cans. So perhaps we should start investing and upgrading those ships of ours in the next episode and all that. And what else that we have in mind? Future plans. Well, one thing's certain, I'm gonna win this debate. Which that'll help with the army tradition decay as we're about to get ourselves into this sort of th business. And uh, what else? As I'm often a, you know. I mean, we will have enough governing capacity to govern whatever gains that we'll try to make if we can beat all these navies. So which means they cannot help you out, but certainly they will. But we need to bring the navy the, like, get your navy in your A game. Because you've got the Grand Old Admiral. <laughs> Who isn't going to be around for much longer. And whilst meanwhile trying to improve relations with papacy to get more papal influence out of this. And whatever that will help the Croatian nation. But end it on September. Just wait for it to register. You said you're supposed to get another merchant since you just embraced one, right? Here it is. Okay. Sending it to Crimea. Collect train. It'll be there in 12 days. And here's what I've been waiting for. Centralization for reduced monthly autonomy. And, and you're going to save up to get that next national idea, which I know what it's going to be. Just wait for one moment. We'll end it in October. Because we can't wait much longer. So we only collect that much of that trade. But... Every little bit helps. Because the Commonwealth has control again while we have... Well, we've fallen back on that trade power. Well, a small part of that is due to lowered stability. And further reduced autonomy, then we'll start working on centers of trade, building marketplaces and all that, but... We'll be engaged in a war that will definitely do a number on them. So we'll see what we can do from here in the next episode. So we hope you people enjoyed it despite my adaptation of parliamentarianism and coring all these errors which was a struggle but we persisted as with everything else in this game in this playthrough. So we'll see it in the next episode but until then so long for now.